Okay, my last video is on measurement. I just want to talk about probably the most useful theorem in uh, woodworking or construction. And that's a Pythagorean theorem. So let me just put this over here. And there's two ways you could use the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem, named after Pythagoras, Pythagorean theorem. First off, it only works in right triangles. So the way you denote a right triangle, so here's Pythagorean theorem. The way you show right triangles, you put that little box in there. So this says it is a right triangle. That angle is exactly 90 degrees, and the Pythagorean theorem will work. Okay, so just a couple things about triangles. First, you use a capital letter for measure of an angle, lowercase letter for the length of a side opposite that angle. Okay, so if this is side A, it is opposite angle A. This is side B, opposite angle B, and then this is side C. In every right triangle, there are two legs in this case A and B and it's common to use A and B for the legs and then there's one hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle so I'm going to draw a little box to say 90 degrees so the hypotenuse is always opposite that right angle and it's common to call that right angle C with the hypotenuse lowercase c. Okay, so the Pythagorean theorem says if one leg squared plus the other leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So you could see why this is so useful because everything could usually be split into a right triangle on a job site. Even if you have some crazy truss, you know, and all sorts of webbing and you try to find out parts, you could always drop an altitude down and create a right triangle and find missing pieces if you have two of those pieces. So this Pythagorean theorem, you either have the length of the two legs, you can find the hypotenuse, or if you have the hypotenuse and one leg, you can find the other leg. And if you only have an angle in a leg or angle in a side, you could use right triangle trigonometry to find the other parts of that triangle. So we'll put that off for another video. Right now I'm just talking about the Pythagorean theorem. So let's say in this case right here, I know that this altitude is three, this leg right here is four, I have a right triangle, I wanna find C, the hypotenuse, I do one leg squared plus the other leg squared equals C squared. So 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 times 4 is 16, equals c squared. 16 plus 9, 25, equals c squared. Get rid of that square, I take square root of both sides, and c is equal to either 5 or negative 5, but I don't keep that negative because we're talking about the length. So that's how you use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. This one worked out well because they were all um, integers, whole numbers, but I could use a calculator if I want and it'll work out just the same. So let's say, um, let me just make one up, that's not going to work out well. And I do like using measurement to find these, I think these are pretty small, but let's say this is one right here, and this is, oops, two. So now I have one leg and the other leg. So I'm going to say 1 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. 1 squared, 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 is equal to c squared. To get rid of that, I take square root of it. c is equal to the square root of 5. And I don't know what that is. So I've got to use my calculator. 
And on my calculator, I just go, here's the square root button. Can you see that? There's a square root button in blue. So I'm going to go second square root of 5, and I get 2.24. So C is equal to 2.24. So that's pretty close to 2 and a quarter inches. Let me check and see if that works. Yeah, that is pretty close to 2 and a quarter inches there. You see that there? So that's how the Pythagorean works. Pythagorean theorem works really useful. Um, I go over one more example. Let's say instead now I'm given a hypotenuse of 3 and a leg of 2. What is my other leg? So now I have a leg, hypotenuse, I'm looking for another leg. I like to label it A, B, C. Side opposite A is a lowercase a. So that's what I'm looking for, A. So I have A squared plus 2 squared equals hypotenuse squared, 3 squared. A squared plus 4 equals 9. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's going to work out. A squared equals subtract 4 from both sides. So A squared equals 5, square root of both sides. And A is equal to square root of 5, and I already did that on my calculator. So it's 2 and a quarter. So you could use the Pythagorean theorem, given two legs to find a hypotenuse, or given a leg and a hypotenuse, find the other leg. Um, and again, the Pythagorean theorem is probably the most useful equation or theorem used in carpentry. And I'll show you how it's also used. So if this is true, if it's a right triangle, one leg squared plus the other leg squared equals a hypotenuse, the converse of that is true too. So the converse is going to say if one leg squared plus the other leg squared equals a hypotenuse squared, then it's a right triangle. So this is how you check if things are square, right? So again, let me run through that again. The Pythagorean theorem says in a right triangle, one leg squared plus the other leg squared equals a hypotenuse, right? But the converse says if one leg squared plus the other leg squared equals hypotenuse, then it is a right triangle. And you've actually done this before, I'm sure, on a job site. Most people call it 3 4 fiving. So let's say I have a house, and I want my fence to be perpendicular to my house. The way I lay that out is I measure down the house 4 feet. I measure down the fence three feet, and then I pull a string tight. Oops, I pull a string tight. And when that string is exactly five feet, then it's a right angle. So, what I'm saying here is three squared plus four squared equals five squared, then it is a right angle. And if you need even more distance, all of those ratios will work too. So, let's say if I didn't use 3, instead I used a 9. So if I measured down, building a deck, if I measured down 9 feet times 4 by 3, 12 feet, and 5 by 3, 15. So if I measure down here exactly 9 feet, I measure down here exactly 12 feet, I pull a string. When that string is exactly 15 feet, it'll give me a right angle. So this Pythagorean theorem is really cool because it's so useful. If I know it's a right triangle, then the Pythagorean theorem works. Or if the Pythagorean theorem works, then it is a right triangle. So hopefully that'll help you um, in the wood shop and out on the job site. It is a useful theorem. All right, keep practicing it. Get it figured out.